Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we will be studying thumbnail sketching. <clears throat> and we're going to initially talk about observational drawing. However, there are some other examples. So a thumbnail sketch is a quick to the point drawing. It should take you no more than two minutes and it should be about two inches square. Here's an example of idea development with thumbnail sketching where I develop an idea. Here's an example where the artist used different size boxes for their thumbnail sketch to create a composition. This artist drew a still life from multiple different angles for their thumbnails. And now I'm actually going to demonstrate how this can be done. What I will be doing is drawing the same still life from multiple different angles. Here's an image of the still life I will be drawing. And I start off <clears throat> by drawing the box and then going through and drawing each component of the still life. I draw through the objects and erase to create overlapping in depth. And I add my horizon line, which is the edge of my table that the objects are sitting on. I add some basic shading, very basic. <clears throat> and then I'll even do the background just to kind of help myself focus on the objects. Here's a second angle, same still life, different angle. And the same idea, I start by drawing the thumbnail box. And then I'm going to draw the edge of the chair and then draw each object again, drawing through them, drawing ellipses, and then going back to erase. Some thumbnails um, you should do without erasing, but I'm going to do this with erasing because uh, it's easier to create uh, overlapping this way. And then I'm just adding in some basic shadows, and again I shade the background to focus in on the objects. Here's a third angle. This is kind of straight on. And again, I'm drawing the thumbnail box first and drawing ellipses, drawing through the objects to help myself create overlapping, drawing the horizon line, the edge of the table there, and adding, again, some very basic shading just to get the idea down. Should take no more than two minutes. Shade the background quickly, and now I'm done. So the next thing is I'm going to use the same thumbnail idea, but develop ideas. This is kind of like concept art. And just like you take notes to develop ideas, you do the same with drawing or art. A good example would be like comic book artists or video game artists. They have to develop concepts for the project that may not be real. They may be based on reality, but they aren't something that they can actually observe. So they're developing an idea. Uh, it's the same idea with like uh, character development. And here I'm using this for a ceiling tile design, and I develop an idea. So now I'm going to demonstrate. For my demonstration, I'm developing a shoe that is transforming into something else. Kind of like if the shoe had uh, superpowers. So I start off basing my drawing on a boot, and then I want to make my boots fly. So I'm going to add wings. I go through, add my ideas, and I'll even go back and erase. And then I'll start adding in the details and the texture of the wings. This leads into my next concept. For this one, I'm drawing the same boot, but I'm going to change it into moon boots. And I'm going to add springs on the bottom. And again, I found that my box wasn't able to contain it, so I erased it to make my box. Sure. And now I'm going to move on to my final drawing of a shoe. And for this one, I wanted to create something a little more anamorphic, so I create a shark shoe, or a shoe turning into a shark. If 
Finally, let's talk crises, which is a summarization of your notes. So we're going to do this after each thumbnail sketch. And it doesn't have to be very long. Just jot down what you drew. And this is more for when you come back to the drawing. Sometimes you forget what you're looking at. And if you have some sort of written information to go off of, it will help you uh, basically understand what you have drawn. And you can do this with idea sketches, or you can do it with observational sketches. Basically, anything you draw, you can definitely take notes. And it's one or two sentences, no more, um, but no less either.